Welcome to another Maximum Settings Linux Cloud PC Gaming video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Linux gaming at 1440p in five different games to check out game and stream performance. As always, we are connecting to our machine through Moonlight and you have a lot of options when it comes to Moonlight. For us today, we're focusing on 1440p 60fps at 50 megabits per second on the bitrate, but of course you can run things how you want. We're using hardware decoding and dot .265 for our codec, and of course you can game at 720, 1080, 1440, or 4K at 30, 60, or 120 frames per second. You can adjust your bitrate as needed, and for me on this test setup, our server ping is about 32 to 38 milliseconds, and things feel great when it comes to input latency. So let's get moved over to our gaming PC and take a look at what we're going to look at today. So here on our desktop, the first thing I'm going to do is launch Lutris. We have three of our launchers we're going to be running from here, and that's Epic, Origin, and Ubisoft Connect. We're going to run a game from each of those to check out performance. But it's not just using those, we're also going to use the Linux version of Steam that comes pre-installed on your machine. And we'll open that up here and we're actually going to start with Steam first and run two games from there. And then we're going to switch over and run a game from each of the other launchers and check those out. So let's get started with Cyberpunk. So here we are on Cyberpunk, which is the Steam version running high settings, motion blur off, 1440p, and no FSR. There won't be any FSR in any of the games today. We're looking at native 1440p performance. We'll have some unlocked frame rates, but some games will be going for 60 FPS. Now here in Cyberpunk, we're actually getting pretty good solid performance. What I did like here, of course, we do have a nice clean stream, which you'll notice in all the games. Moonlight with this Linux setup does a nice job of providing a stream that is not full of pixelation and blockiness. But also the game runs pretty consistently at this frame rate, whether I was outside going down the highway or looking at interiors or exterior areas of the city walking around. The frame rate's pretty consistent between 30 and 40 FPS. Of course, if you want higher FPS, you can use FSR or lower resolutions, but this is just a baseline. Take a look at the combat we have here. Everything felt great when it came to latency and the frame rate again stayed pretty solid without jumping around. So Cyberpunk has some pretty consistent performance and you can definitely do some things to increase the frame rate or graphics and run the game however you want. But let's move over to our next Steam game, God of War. God of War is a great PC port that's been well optimized over time since its launch and it does run pretty well on VMs including this Linux gaming PC. Now we're going to start with an unlocked frame rate so things will jump around a bit here and there but we'll switch it over to 60 here in just a minute. Now performance here is on the Steam version of course, ultra settings, motion blur off, 1440p and no FSR. So we're running max settings that we can here as far as our graphics and it looks great. Now things are going to bounce around and feel a little bit stuttery from time to time with the unlocked frame rate as you can see in these battles, but you can lock this down to 60 FPS and really smooth things out, which I would recommend doing in most games when you're streaming at 60. But the game looks great, latency felt great, and the stream stayed clean for me here. Check out this fight at a locked 60 FPS. So performance for God of War is looking great on the machine. Let's move over to our Epic Game Store game, The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 is a great title that's been used for a lot of years for benchmarking PCs and its graphics hold up today. We're running on the Epic Game Store version at ultra settings, motion blur off 1440p. Now this is an unlocked frame rate, but what we're going to do for this game is switch it over to a locked 60fps. And you'll see our frame times smooth right out there, and I am using VSync now as well. 
This keeps the experience really smooth. Again, this being a great gaming PC, you can change your settings to run unlocked frame rate, 30 FPS, 60 FPS, lower your graphics, raise them, do what you want here. There's not much you can do to raise them here as I do have things on ultra, though post-processing has a couple of things turned down, but you're able to get a great 60 FPS experience with The Witcher 3. Check out this little fight right here. As you can see, the performance here for The Witcher 3 was nice and consistent at that 60 FPS, and with my ping of 32 to 38 milliseconds, the latency in battle was great. And we have a nice clean stream here for Witcher 3 as well. You can of course run this game however you want, being a PC game, but this is a great example of what you can expect from our machine in the cloud. Now let's move over to our next game over on Origin, Jedi Fallen Order. So now we're taking a look at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order running on the Origin Launcher, high settings, motion blur off, 1440p native resolution. Not only does this game run great here on the machine, but it happens to be one of my favorite more modern Star Wars games of recent time. So if you haven't played it, you should definitely check it out. Uh, just like all the other games we've checked out so far here in these five games, the stream stays really clean and I never had any pixelation issues and Moonlight's pretty good for that. We are still running our 50 megabits per second of course and depending on your internet connection and distance from the data center you may need to adjust these things uh, down or up but for me here in this test setup the games were running great. Now moving outside to the train scene here, latency just like all the other games felt great at my 32 to 38 millisecond ping for this test setup and the stream stayed really nice out here as well. During fast motion, oftentimes you'll get more of that blur or pixelation happen, and I really didn't have those issues here with Moonlight connected to the machine. So take a look at a little bit more combat and performance here, and then we'll get ready to move on to our next game. Star Wars Fallen Order, another title that's running great here on the machine. Let's get ready to move over to our next game on the Ubisoft launcher, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Our fifth and final game for the video today is Immortals Phoenix Rising from Ubisoft, running on the Ubisoft launcher. This is high settings, motion blur off, 1440p native resolution, and this gives us a completely different art style to take a look at here, so we can see what the stream looks like and how the game's running. Again, we are shooting for a locked 60 FPS in this game, however, you could do whatever you would like and run this unlocked, you could stream it at 120 or 60, you could up your graphics from high to a little bit more there, you could lower them to raise your frame rate, a lot of things you could do. But this offers us some overhead, allows the machine to breathe a little bit, gives us a fairly smooth 60 FPS experience with a 60 FPS stream, and it feels great to be playing here locally. Anyway, I'll let you check out a little bit more combat here for Immortals Phoenix Rising. And there you have it, the game looks great. Just like everything else, these five games were a great experience and should give you a decent idea of what to expect if you're gonna be playing this game from the Ubisoft through Lutris and the compatibility layers to be able to play the game here on the Linux Cloud Machine. To be able to get this kind of performance was pretty impressive. Now these were just five small examples of the type of performance you can get here on this Linux cloud gaming machine from us here at Maximum Settings. Of course, these are PC games and you can run them however you want, 30, 60, 120 FPS or anywhere in between, higher or lower settings, and of course, higher and lower resolutions from 720 to 4K. Whether you're an existing Maximum Settings customer or someone looking to join, we appreciate you coming to look at this video to get an idea of how these games will run. Thanks a lot, 
and we'll see you guys in the next one.